Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 4-25 that is taken from chapter number 4, Axial Load and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. Statement is determine the elongation of A36 steel member when it is subjected to axial force of 30 kN. The member is 10 mm thick. Use the result of problem 4-24. So you can see this is the A36 steel member that is acted upon by a tensile load of 30 kN and the thickness of this member is 10 mm. This uh, width is 20 mm and this width is 75 mm. So you have to find the elongation with the help of results of problem 4-24. So let's start with the solution. So first we will write given data. So we have been given that uh, this is A36 steel member steel member clear and that is subjected to axial load which is equal to p and that p is equal to 30 kilo newton thickness t is given as 10 millimeter and this 10 millimeter in meter is 0 0.01 meter now you can see this smaller width which is taken as D, D1, D, D1 and that D1 is equal to 20 millimeter in meter it is equal to 0 0.02 meter and this width which is the largest width that is taken as D2 and this D2 is equal to 75 millimeter and that is equal to 0 0.075 meter. Also, you can see that this is the height of half of the portion and this height is taken as 0 0.5 meter. So, it is also given that use the result of problem 4-24. So, we will take the results from that which we have solved in previous problem. So, what we have to find is we have to find determine the elongation determine the elongation so let's start its solution so if we move to the previous problem 4-24 which we have solved uh, you i have uh, attach the link in this problem so this is the result so you have to copy this and this result which we will write it over here this def deformation which is delta is equal to p into h divided by e into t into d2 minus d1 into ln of d2 over d1 so first let me clear it you can see that this was the problem this is the smallest width d1 and this was the largest width d2 and that is acted upon by a tensile load and total height is h so for that deformation comes out to be this one so you are aware now you can see this is the half portion so if i add other half like this so this problem will be exactly the same like this one you can see this is half and this is half so total will be this one so for that our total elongation total elongation in this case will be equal to two times of delta so you can put the value 2 into p h divided by e that is steel member so we will write e steel into thickness d2 minus d1 into ln of d2 d2 over d1 so you have all the value you can see you have p you have t you have d1 d2 h you do not have e and e for steel member so e for steel can be obtained from the book and we will move toward the book is if you go at the end of the book to the properties table below 
so you can see the second last one is average mechanical property so if you click at that and you can see that this is a 36 steel so its e is 200 gigapascal so note down this value is equal to 200 gigapascal so 200 and that will be equal to 200 into 10 raised to power 9 pascal now you have all the values you can just put it so you will get elongation our total elongation will be equal to 2 multiplied by p is 30 kilonewtons so 13 to 10 raised to power 3 h is 0 0.5 meter all the values is given over here you have to just put the value e of steel is 200 into 10 raised to power 9 thickness is 0 0.01 and d2 is 0 0.075 minus d1 is 0 0.02 into log of 0 0.075 divided by 0 0.02 so when you solve this you will get this elongation total elongation i will write total as well so total elongation will be equal to 0 0.360 into 10 to the power minus 3 or that will be equal to 0 0.360 millimeter so that will be total elongation and this is the answer of our this question number 4-25 and that was all about this problem i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.